Hello everyone, this is Christy with Rustic Fire Creations and I am here today to show you how to make these little ducklings. Let me give you a close up here. So at the moment I have three. This is actually going to be a set for a bigger project. Um, if you want to see what the end results are, you can follow me on my business page on Instagram or on Facebook. It's just uh, Rustic Fire Creations. Um, so making tiny things is hard. It's much harder than I anticipated. I made some tiny things, but, um, I always forget. And I love, I love making tiny miniatures are so much fun. So how to go about this for these little guys, I'm going to put them off to the side here is we're going to start with a armature, which is kind of ridiculous to do an armature for something so small, but to do legs, it's kind of the best way to start. So I'm actually using 24 gauge steel wire. This you can just get at your hardware store. I clipped off about an inch worth and I'm going to bend this in. Well, actually before I bend it in half, uh -huh. I'm going to take floral tape and I'm just going to rip off a small section here of black floral tape because the feet are going to be black and this is not going to be wrapped with wool, at least not the legs or the feet. I'm going to cut the floral tape in half. For wrapping smaller things, I just feel like I can make it thinner. I wrap in half. So I'm going to start in the middle and work my way down on one side. And see that went right over the wire. Didn't quite go over the wire. So I pulled it down so that it is over the wire. And then squeeze it tight. And then start from where that floral tape ended in the middle wrap again going down to the other side and then pull off the excess squeeze it tight you can see I'm not sure if you can see here but I have just a little bit of wire go that's showing so I'm gonna wrap it just a little bit more to get that covered I don't want to wrap too much because I don't want it to get super thick, but I want to wrap enough that that wire that it's on is covered. Okay. So then I'm grabbing some wire cutters. I forgot to put them up here. I am going to now bend this in half. Oh my gosh. Well, that didn't work very well. Watch this though. So I'm going to fix that little mistake there. With that coming off. This is just what happens when you need a felt team. Things come up that don't want to happen, but just kind of go with it. Alright, there we go. That piece off to the side. That's better. Okay, now we can pin this in half. And just into a U shape. Like that. Then, with your wire cutters, you're going to take just the smallest little section and you're going to bend it forward. Okay, like that. So this, this is our armature. That's all there is to it. And then we're going to start to using our wool. So to make the little ducklings, you're going to use a light yellow, a gray, and a black. And to start, I'm going to get some of this light yellow. And the key thing is just little bits at a time. And then you might have to spread the legs just a little, get this going. And you're going to wrap around the middle. Then once it's wrapped a couple times, and you see how I have the legs still exposed, with that excess, 
I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to fold it over, I'm going to felt it down in place. I'm using a 40 gauge needle for this since it's such a small project. I want a small needle. 42 gauge would also work fairly well. Anything bigger is going to get a little frustrating because wool is going to just keep on poking through more than you want. Okay, so this is where we're at now. It's very tiny, so let's see. Now I'm going to take another small section of wool. That's actually probably too much. And they're like really tiny little chunks here, like an inch. And I'm using core wool. I'm not using core wool for the entire thing, but for this base for the body I am. So now we're making the back end of our little duckling. Sorry as I'm quiet, this is like, there's a lot of focusing that goes on with this one. I mean, I don't want to poke myself. I want to make it look right. All right, so that's where we're at now. Now I'm going to take a little bit more. Just a little too much probably. And place it on the belly area. It's so much smarter to go with small amounts than large amounts because it can get really big really fast since we're making miniature ducklings. We better just stick with miniature amounts full. All right. That's where we're at now. Just a little bit, away. and then we're gonna make the head. So once again, another small section of wool. So that's probably too small. Roll it in your fingers a little bit. Oh, kind of come on done, but that's okay. It's a good start. Then place it up where the head's gonna be. Almost there. Being so small, it also doesn't require a long time felting at it. But still requires precision in your needle pokes. Alright, so that is about it for at least the shape of our little duckling. And then we're going to make the beak. So what I'm going to do to make the beak is I'm going to grab some black merino wool. Very small amount. I'm actually taking some away. And I'm going to roll it in my fingers. I'm going to no ball. About knee big. Way smaller than B. I mean a P. Okay, so I had the reach back, sorry. So I'm going to use this guy. This is a wax bee. Um, we have these, well, we will be having these available soon in our shop, but for now, I'm using it. Uh, we don't have them all ready for you guys, but it's coming and it's, they're really great. So I'm just going to rub a little bit on my fingers. It doesn't take a lot. And then roll this. And I like it because it really helps the wool adhere, especially for small things. It helps keep it all together. 
So we have this very tiny ball. I'm gonna try and zoom in on what we got going on here. And then I'm gonna felt it down. And I'm gonna try and make one spot come to a point. So we almost have a triangle shape coming going on. And this requires really small needle pokes. Don't go jabbing really hard with your needle because what that does is it makes whole strands come out the other side more so than small needle pokes. Make sure to flip it as you go. For something so small, it can take a ridiculous amount of time to create what you want. So I just keep on pausing, looking at it, seeing where I need to bring more roll in and then once I'm satisfied which of that's not bad I'm gonna place it where it needs to go on the face and the belt leaving the point in more well now that'll be the tip of the beak guy on screen for you guys. See what's happening. Just want to make sure it's in there and it'll stay. Now as we add on the rest of it it will wobble around and everything but we can we can work with that. Okay. So now I'm gonna take some of the gray I'm going to place it on the head, right above beak. I'm pretty much going to give this guy a mohawk, practically. It's going to come down his back. And then all the way down, like so. And then I'm going to take some more of the gray. Let me scrap more off the, that I need. Then I'm going to take and this another fairly small chunk. And I'm going to place it on the back. Down by the bottom. Uh, put that in place. Flip them over, fold any of the gray that's sticking out in. All right, so that's where we're at now. We're gonna take more gray. And this is gonna go you know, just start with a small section that'll go right next to the beak, kind of outlining the chin area. And work this down. Like so. And this is kind of like a wing. Okay. And then do the same to the opposite side.
try and make sure both sides are fairly even. Now you have them shaped. Oops, sorry, I just bumped the camera there for you. Okay. So now we're gonna take just the slightest bit of the light yellow. And this is where we kind of frame in the wing. Just a small chunk of it down right above the leg and do and there's little legs there some on the opposite side as well Now, we're getting closer, we're going to take a thin section of the gray, very thin. Roll it in your fingers, you want a straight line. So start at the beak. Poke it in. And then oh, this is not not coming together enough there. I'm gonna do another one. Okay, that should be better. So Just gonna come across his face. You felt the bottom part. It's too long. And take one more thin section of the black wool rub it in your fingers so you have a little black ball this will be the eye so you want to place the eye fairly close to the beak that little room and right on that gray line that you made and that is it for that and then you do the same to the opposite side and then when that's done, and your little guide's done, I would just go through and clean it up with scissors or keep pelting where you need to. And then you end up with one of these guys.